So you're thinking about moving to San Ramon, California? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you all of San Ramon's public schools. I'm gonna show you where they're located and how they rank among all of Bay Area's best. If you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you this town's top ranked school that you definitely don't wanna miss. And we're gonna get into it right now. the first time to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living here in San Ramon, California, then subscribe below or click the bell for notifications so you can be the first to hear about the current market here in San Ramon. My name is Michelle Lewis with the Michelle Lewis Real Estate Team and I get calls from people just like you looking for help to move to San Ramon and I absolutely love it. Now if you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. All of my information is in the, the description below. And let me help you make that smooth move to San Ramon, California. All right, so here is the map of all of the schools here in San Ramon. Um, now, all of the schools in Danville and San Ramon are part of uh, the San Ramon Valley Unified School District. So San Ramon has 14 public elementary schools. They've got four middle schools and two high schools. So starting over here in the Windermere section, Windermere has the elementary school Live Oak Elementary, and that is an eight out of 10. If I click on that here, all right, we've got, there come, pops up the, the, um, the look of the school. As you can see, the school is really new looking. And I mean, they've, all of these schools are fantastic, but you can see the school's been newly built. It's not an older school here. Look at that. Okay. So, really beautiful looking school, plenty of parking. All right. Then we have uh, the Windermere Ranch Middle School. Windermere Ranch Middle School is a nine out of 10. And these are some of the photos here. So as you can see, again, a newer school. Um, the development, Windermere was built in uh, some in the 90s, but mainly in the early 2000s. So as you know, the schools are just as new. So it's a beautiful looking school there. And again, greatschools.com gives it a 9 out of 10. All right, now uh, we're moving up just a tad here. So Windermere is separated into the, a few phases, but it, um, the elementary school assigned to that is also the Hidden Hills Elementary. And uh, Hidden Hills Elementary is a, it's a nine out of 10. Is that a good looking school or what? Nine out of 10. I'm gonna win. Look around. Really pretty. All right. All right, then we're moving up into the high school area. Most likely your children, if you are in Gale Ranch or Windermere, your children will be going to Doherty Valley High School. Doherty Valley High School is a 10 out of 10. And this is what the high school looks like. This is a gorgeous school. Um, this is one of the most, uh, well, our high schools here in San Ramon are fabulous, but they have gorgeous views, huge amphitheater, just a really nice, clean looking school. All right. So now we're on to Venture School. Venture School is actually, it's basically K through 12th. It's, it's an alternative school and it's not yet rated. Well, it's not rated. All right, now we're moving into the Gale Ranch. This is the Gale Ranch Middle School. Gale Ranch Middle School is an eight out of 10. Um, and as you can see, it looks a lot like the Windermere Middle School. They look almost identical, so, but nestled up on their hill there, fairly newer school. All right, that's Gale Ranch Middle School. All right, and then we have Quail Run Elementary, which is where a lot of the homes are um, in Gale Ranch are assigned to Quail Run Elementary, and Quail Run is an eight out of 10 as well. Here's some of the photos here. Not a very good one, is it? Yeah. 
there it is. So again, very new schools. All right, so next up is Bella Vista Elementary School in Gill Ranch. Now, Bella Vista is a seven out of 10. All right, and that's what Bella Vista looks like. It's really nice too. It's a very, very large school. All right. All right, next on the list, we've got Coyote Creek Elementary School. Um, if you live in Bridges, uh, area that's the elementary school assigned to that that um, that area now you're gonna want to consult with your realtor or your the Pleasanton or excuse me the San Ramon Valley Unified School District to confirm what schools your your child is supposed to be attending but uh, yeah that's what that looks like they've got a great track team that's Coyote Creek uh, aren't those gorgeous views then we've got Golden View Golden View is uh, in the Crow Canyon District here. There's Golden View Elementary. Golden View Elementary is a nine out of 10. And by the way, Coyote Creek, I don't think I mentioned, but that was a nine out of 10 as well. Mm -hmm. This is the front of the school. Now, as you can see, Golden View is a bit older. I went through some of the homes here were built in the 60s and 70s. Uh, Bollinger is, uh, it's part of Bollinger and um, they're a little bit older homes so the school's a bit older but it's a great school, a 9 out of 10. Then we have Twins Creek. In the Twins Creek area we have Twins Creek Elementary. Twins Creek Elementary. Now Twins Creek Elementary is an 8 out of 10 and that's what the whole school looks like. It's really nice. So as you can see, for the most part, all of these schools are fairly new. And it makes sense because the community in San Ramon is new. So most of the communities, I should say. So now we have Iron Horse Middle School. That many, many communities actually funnel into Iron Horse uh, Middle School. And uh, my kids actually went to Iron Horse Middle School and they absolutely love it. But Iron Horse Middle School is right currently nine out of 10. The teachers there are fantastic. Um, they've got a, an amazing gym. Amazing blacktop. It's nice and clean. All of these schools are nice and clean. I think we did Bollinger Canyon already. Okay, no we didn't. All right, so Bollinger Canyon is super nice as well. A tad bit older, but really, really nice. Pet Bollinger Canyon is actually 10 out of 10. All right, now we're on our last leg of uh, schools. Now the rest of these schools are pretty much in the South um, San Ramon area, starting with Montevideo Elementary School. This is These are all older uh, homes built in the 60s uh, up to the 1990s. Um, so the schools you'll notice are a bit older. But Montevideo uh, Elementary is a really great school, just like all the other schools in um, San Ramon, and that is an 8 out of 10, according to greatschools.org. All of these schools are really well taken care of, too. Cal High. Most of these schools, as of up until last year, were all between 9 and 10 out of 10. So um, I think I think that COVID had a lot to do with the uh, test scores. But right now, um, Cal High is, it was a 10 out of 10 for the longest time. And now uh, this year it's rated an 8 out of 10. But Cal High is an incredibly competitive, just like Doherty Valley High School, um, incredibly competitive um, schools with just a ton of grizzly pride <laughs> there. Uh, they've got a great football team. Um, and just incredibly talented um, children that go there. Um, yeah, so all of these schools are phenomenal. They really are. I mean, one of you know San Ramon's largest draws is their schools. Uh, a lot of people come here because the schools are so fantastic. All right, now we're going into Walt Disney Elementary School. Walt Disney Elementary School is a 10 out of 10. Older school. Super clean. Now that's right, Walt Disney is right up the street, or right down the street from um, K 
Cal High. So if you have two children, or three children, one or two in elementary and one in high school, they could walk each other to school, which is great. Or it's a quick drive or commute for you, or carpool for you. So that's nice. All right, and then we have Pine Valley Middle School. Pine Valley Middle School is a great middle school. It's actually a nine out of 10. Uh, let's get pull up a picture. You'll notice that all of the middle schools in the San Ramon Valley Unified School District pretty much have almost identical floor plans. Um, and they look very similar to each other. All right, this is Neil Armstrong Elementary. Neil Armstrong is an eight out of 10. Okay, looks a lot like Wells Middle School in Dublin, but okay, there it is. All right, and last but certainly not the least, the Country Club Elementary School. Mm -hmm. This is part of the community that is um, a golfing community. And uh, Neil Armstrong is an, I said is an 8 out of 10, and Country Club is a, well, it's an 8 out of 10 as well. And that's about it for the schools. Now again, if you have any further questions, contact your local uh, Unified School District and uh, request a map or request more information about whether your child is assigned to a particular school. You can reach the um, Unified School District at 925-479-6000. Uh, now, if you found this video helpful, click that like button or send me a, a comment in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video.